Um, hello, I'm back. So today I'm going to show you how to get the um, TechIt server 3.0.4. So um, if you want to read what the what the difference is between the other ones, just read down like always. So to download it, just go to where it says 3.0.4 server. Click here. Download it using WinRAR, or if it comes out as a folder, I don't know. And when it's done, which I've already downloaded it though, you open it up, create, create a new folder, call it Tech Server or whatever you want to call it. Drag everything and put it in here and then you go in and you launch it and when it's done launching which will take a little bit um, it's going to have to you might have seen all the warnings and anything else it had. It's just saying because the tech thing here is not um it's like they're asking if it's custom or something, which it probably it is because it's not the original craft bucket. And then the other one is just telling you you don't have a world. So now that you do you can stop this. and then you go into your server if you're running a port forwarded server are you going to port forward it make sure your server ports 25565 choose whatever level name you want so I'll make a new one take it just click all that level seed if you find a level seed that you want then you just put that in here and if you want um, and then you have to put in your server IP which is whatever your IP is which if you don't know how to get you just yeah it would take too much time to look up to do that well not that much but and then where it says online mode if you have port forwarded it's true if it's Hamachi then it's false and you don't put a server IP for Hamachi either and once you have everything set up how you want it just close that off if you made a new world and it's no point in keeping this like I did. And if you want to change how much RAM goes into it, just right click on launch and edit. This is telling you max and minimum. And make sure you don't go 0.5 because if you do, it'll do this. It does not recognize 2.5, see, so you can't do it like that. So if you don't have this much RAM, you just have to lower it down to 2, and you can do 2 and 2, or you can do 2 and 1, or if you want more, you can go 4 and 3 or something. So once you have how much you, you're going to put on it, so right now I'm loading something, so I'll just go with 2 and 2 for now. Yeah, because I'm doing something else that's using a RAM. And then you would go and just launch it again. And there might have been a few conflicts or whatever, that's just because it doesn't have certain things loaded. So if you edit anything and you don't want to stop the server, and put it up again or anything, it's simple. All you have to do is type in reload, but you've got to but wait for it to finish first. And then you can reload it, and it'll instantly just be done. And you see all the mods have been reloaded. But just to make sure it goes a bit better, now that this world, so I'll stop it and restart it. But hold on, let me just, since I'm using Hamachi, keep forgetting to do this. I have to change it to false. Oops. 
and now I launch it. It'll come up with other things telling me, oh, it's false, you can't go online load, but that doesn't matter if you're using Hamachi. So then once it's done, open up your Technic Launcher. However long this might take. Okay, so I skipped to it, and now it's here. You log in. And I skipped to when it was done, so you get to it. You go on, you can log in. Of course, it says end of stream. So let's see, did I make it? Let's just switch that down to one for now. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to try something. Okay, let's see what happens if I do put an IP in there. Let's see. Reload. Outdated. Oh. Okay, um, there's a problem. My client, so Technic Launcher, hasn't, hasn't updated far enough yet. So, um, let's go to options. Um, let's see. Don't know why I tech it is an out is outdated for some reason. Let's see. Let's try using development. Oh, wrong one. No, let's try. Skip to it when it was finally done loading everything. And see if it works. Okay, so basically you have to use the development build then. You have to switch to. Okay, well, you s yeah, I'll show you once again to see how you get it. Okay, well, um, that was simple. Simple enough. So it's still got and everything's loaded. You just have to use a development build, which probably isn't the best for it, but the development build doesn't mean it's not gonna it's gonna but it just has more errors that it could that can happen. They're just developing it. So yeah, that's all really. So I'll show you what I did once again. What you have to do is oh, go here. It's good. There we go. And you open it up, and then once it's up, you go to options, and it should be on always use recommended. What you have to switch it to is always use development. You can always switch it back when you're done, and then when you do that, you've already chosen what you want for there. So log in, and that's all you have to do. Oh, and of course, I keep forgetting. Well, and you saw that it worked last time, too, because I was already on it. But yeah, that's all, and that's how you set up the um, Tekkit Tech 3.0.4 server. So, and you can go out and do that then, or if you already have, play on it. See you later.